breaking news overnight. A big move along the Space Coast. NASA's new moon rocket is again inching its way closer to the launch pad. All as mission managers prepare for what they're hoping will be a successful flight of Artemis 1 later this month. Mark Lehman joins us live from Space View Park in Titusville. Mark, this is the fourth time it's been moved to the pad. It comes after delays, a couple of scrubs and worries about Hurricane Ian. Now NASA officials say all of that is behind them and they also say they're confident this will be the last trip to the launch pad before liftoff. Now here's video from overnight. Artemis, the Artemis 1 rocket uh, began rolling out of the vehicle assembly building around 1117 last night, which was a little earlier than scheduled. The space launch system rocket can take up to 11 hours to travel the four miles to launch complex 39B. It's something Artemis has done three times before and is leading up to the third attempt at launching NASA's most powerful rocket. The first launch was scrubbed in late August after problems during fueling. The second attempt was then called off a few days later after a hydrogen leak. Now, though, NASA says everything is on track for liftoff on November 14th. Everybody asks, are you confident in, uh, in going after a launch attempt? If we weren't confident, we wouldn't roll out. If we weren't confident, we wouldn't start the countdown um, when we do. So, um, yeah, we're confident. In late September, Hurricane Ian forced a rollback to the VAB. Since then, teams say they were able to make more repairs and replace hardware to prepare for the upcoming launch. The uncrewed mission will send the Orion spacecraft to circle the moon before returning to Earth. If successful, it will put NASA closer to sending Americans back to the moon and possibly to Mars. Now, when it comes to the launch, NASA says it's monitoring a tropical disturbance that could bring strong winds to the area on the 14th, but it's too, still uh, too early to determine uh, that impact. Meanwhile, the rollout continues right now. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.